So one thing that's hard to figure out in the beginning, especially as you're starting your CNC router uh, journey, or even if you've cut a lot before, is when to make the distinction between an O flute and a straight bit. And this is almost always relevant in uh, plastic or aluminum. You don't often see this in wood. So um, typically you'll see that an O flute is gonna be the most advertised way of cutting plastics and aluminum, and it does great. It gets chips out of the way, it evacuates them well, and typically it's a style like this. A straight bit is also very good in these applications, but it doesn't quite get the chips out. It just kind of funnels them laterally. So the number one way to determine when to use one versus the other is actually not about the material. It's about how you're fixturing. If you've got a lot of suction or maybe clamps or you're fixturing really well, then the O flute is almost always going to be a better option. Where the straight tool starts to win out over that O flute is if you have a situation where you need to try to create as minimal amount of vacuum um, loss on that piece, or maybe you've just got um, your pieces held down by tape or something like that, the straight tool can be a fairly good option because it's not actually ripping out or, or funneling upward, it's funneling everything side to side. So again, O flute would be really good if you've got a really good way of holding the part. And if you've got maybe not so good um, fixturing, then a really good method would be this straight bit here.